Welcome back to our daily news update, bringing you the latest headlines from around the world, now let's begin. New challenger gives Mexican opposition hope beating AMLOS party. Xochitl Galvez wants to find ways to retain illegal immigrants going to the U.S. and give them opportunities in Mexico. Mexico City in Mexico, the political environment has been discouraging for an opposition that has been unable to position an alternative to President Andrés Manuel López Obrador, AMLO, who has dominated public opinion since his first victory in 2018. Yet things could be changing with the arrival of a disruptive leader who is rapidly changing the rules of the game by generating a wave of enthusiasm throughout Mexico. Giving the opposition hope of winning the presidency in 2024. Her name is Xochitl Galvez. After being criticized by the president at his morning press conference, Senator Galvez requested the right of reply, and the president denied her. After obtaining a judicial order that would supposedly force the president to receive her, he refused to open the doors of the National Palace. From that moment, Galvez became a symbol of resistance, a leader of an opposition willing to fight the democratic battle to win the presidency in 2024 and remove AMLO and his party Morena from the presidency. Xochitl Galvez is intelligently handling the insults that come from the presidency. She smiles and responds with class, even humor. This has allowed her to expose the autocratic and disrespectful attitude that López Obrador has historically shown, explained Alejandro Mata, a political analyst. The life and story of Galvez, an indigenous woman who was born and raised in a poor community and who was able to overcome a series of obstacles to become a successful engineer and businesswoman is an example of self-improvement and social mobility that connects and excites millions of Mexicans from different backgrounds and regions. Galvez was the head of the Office of Indigenous People in the Vincent Fox administration, a position from which she helped many indigenous communities throughout the country. She was the delegation head of Miguel Hidalgo in Mexico City, ran for governor of the state of Hidalgo and is currently a senator. Her professional success as a businesswoman and as a public servant has fueled her to become the leader that today is seen as the best alternative to beat Morena in 2024. In one of her first interviews with foreign media, Galvez explained to Fox News Digital the opportunities she considers most relevant in the relationship between Mexico and the United States. In a disruptive way, she suggests a solution that the U.S. government might like because it would somehow help stop illegal immigration. There are two issues, immigration and nearshoring, Galvez said. Both countries can turn immigration into an opportunity rather than a problem. Mexico is having labor problems in some regions. Obviously, immigrants who cross Mexico could have an interest in staying and Mexico could, in some specific regions, take advantage of that human capital offering them education and making sure they would not be mistreated or locked up. Mexican immigrants could also be seen in the United States as a great opportunity. I think we must approach the issue of immigration from a different perspective because all these people who emigrate are looking to work. They are not looking to go to crime. In general, with the relocation of companies, nearshoring is a great opportunity for Mexico as it can generate much more labor. Nearshoring should not stay only in the north of the country, it could take place in the southeast of Mexico where we must create more infrastructure and invest in human capital so that it is not just factories. Many companies that are coming from Asian countries are technology companies. Therefore, we must invest in a program for Mexican youth and women to study engineering and technical careers. Those, for me, are the two most important opportunities that Mexico has in the relationship with the United States. In an unprecedented alliance, the three opposition political parties, PAN, PRI and PRD, have joined with civil society to create the Fente Amplio por Mexico, with the different leaders competing to become the opposition candidate. Galvez is one of them and, according to polls, is the best position to be its candidate. Xochitl Galvez has become a real threat to López Obrador for several reasons. Because she is a woman, because she has the potential to connect with popular sectors and because she undermines the credibility of the government's discourse that says that the entire opposition is conservative and belongs to the economic elite, Mata told Fox News Digital. López Obrador has become the best promoter of Xochitl Galvez. 
His constant attacks on the opposition have caused undecided segments and disenchanted opponents to consider that she may be different from the others. To encourage U.S. business leaders to see new investment and business opportunities in Mexico, Galvez explains that there are six priorities that must be urgently addressed, strengthening the rule of law and fostering a culture of legality, committing to clean energy, resolving the water problem, investing in human capital, building infrastructure and restoring peace. Referring to the Mexicans who immigrate to the U.S., Galvez explained, many of my countrymen from my hometown are in the U.S. Many cousins have had to go looking for better opportunities. I did not migrate to the United States, but I did migrate to Mexico City. And I can put myself in their shoes with respect to what it is like to come to a city that discriminates against you or to a country that does not see you as an equal. All those who leave are entrepreneurs. This government, of Mexico, seems to hate those who aspire to a better life. As a personal aspiration, even a personal dream, Galvez confesses that conditions should be created in Mexico for immigrants to return to their country. I would love to find investment mechanisms so that immigrants who want to return to Mexico can invest in businesses that allow them to return with a job or a well-formed business, she said. Many want to return but do not find employment opportunities. So, we would have to create a mechanism for investment funds for them as immigrants so that they could become business partners. For example, in the Isthmus of Tehuantepec, there is a lot of clean energy, and perhaps the indigenous people could have a wind generation project. Governments have lacked creativity. They must create the conditions for them to invest in Mexico and guarantee those investments that in the long run will allow them to have an income. That would be my dream, so they don't have to work all their lives. I ask my cousins, why don't you come back to live in Mexico? And they reply, there is no job that pays me what I earn there, in the United States. The candidacy of Xochitl for the Fente Amplio por Mexico is not yet a certainty. But it has already changed the mood of the opposition by creating an expectation of electoral success that did not exist until now, political communication consultant and partner at Zymat Consultors Andrea Castro told Fox News Digital. With Xochitl, two factors are introduced into the electoral process, one, the possibility of competition. Opinion polls show for the first time that citizens perceive the possibility of a contested election. 2. Uncertainty in the electoral process's outcome. Unlike the secure victory for Morena that was envisioned just a few months ago, he said, if Xochitl becomes the candidate, we will head towards a more vibrant process that encourages citizen participation and gives continuity to the recent public demonstrations in favor of the National Electoral Institute, INE, and the Supreme Court of Justice, SCJN, which, although electorally irrelevant in numbers, did demonstrate the desire of a segment of the population to play an active role in defining Mexico's political future. Castro stated, he concluded that, although Xochitl is not yet competitive electorally, she is already a factor that could prevent Morena from having an absolute majority in Congress. Electoral competition, citizen participation and a plural Congress could be the result of Xochitl's appearance as an electoral figure, and all are good news for Mexican and North American democracy. Fox News' Peter Petrov contributed to this report. Subscribe to my YouTube news channel now. Providing accurate and reliable information on the latest hot events. Join the community for exchanging opinions and learning from each other. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss out on the latest videos. Let's explore the world of information together.